Jimmy Dyer feels right at home when he's in the kitchen. There's 300 meals come out of this kitchen a day. From chopping vegetables to baking chicken, Dyer loves to cook. But at one time, he loved something else. I, I did things that, you know, broke laws and that I wouldn't have did if I hadn't have been on it. Dyer says after an accident, he was prescribed painkillers, but then became addicted. And that's when his troubles landed him in the Grundy County Jail. And now he answers to Sheriff Clint Shrum. Just like everybody else, we have our problem with op the opioid um, epidemic. The opioid epidemic continues to sweep the nation. No person is immune and no place is immune. We've seen the big cities get hit hard, but so too are the more rural communities, just like here in Grundy County. Probably in 2010, 2012 um, is when we started seeing this surge of, of opioids, of of people doctor shopping, pill milling, um, and it, it affects rural areas. Shrum's plan is simple. Get the inmates help and keep them out of jail. They're here. They're trying to get past it. Uh, the, the lucky thing is for them is we have some programs that can help them get past it. Alicia Shadwick is in charge of the pre-release re-entry program at the jail. What we do is we work with the inmates that are here. About 78% of them openly admit to using opioids. And so we work with them to just give them the the guidance that they need whenever they get back. From offering courses to finish their GEDs to anger management and creative classes, Shadwick says the courses give them structure and help them keep their minds busy on positive things. It's a lot of good structure that, you know, that we needed that we didn't get early on in life. All the ones, I still am in contact with the ones that have released. So far, none of them have came back to jail, which is the, the end goal. of A goal that Sheriff Shrum hopes current inmates will take note of. At the end of the day, it's a conscious decision as to whether or not they want to stay off that. We can get them cleaned up while they're in jail, but when they get out, it's, it's their decision as to whether or not they'll stay that way. In Grundy County, Brent Ramadna, News 2.